Hi Kinders, Mrs. Croft here. Today we're going to read about one of our senses. And when we're reading about this one and we're listening, I want you to listen carefully to find out more about this sense of sight. That's the one we're going to do. Pay attention to the names of the different parts of the eye when we start talking about them. Have you ever heard people say, look before you leap? They're warning you to be careful and think things through before you act. Look before you leap is a saying that makes a lot of sense because every day we use our eyes to look at the ground ahead of us before we walk, run, or leap. Imagine how much more dangerous it would be to do those things with your eyes closed. Our sense of sight helps keep us safe. Look at the picture of this boy. Does he look like he is looking before he leaps? Your eyes help protect the rest of your body. Protect means to keep something safe from harm. And that's one of our words that we need to study. They help you avoid bumping into things or tripping or falling as you move. You use your eyes to look both ways before you cross the street. But while your eyes are busy protecting you, what's busy protecting your eyes? Now listen closely and you'll learn about the body parts that work together to keep your eyes safe. You might not be able to tell when you look in a mirror, but in fact, your eyes are round like balls. That is why they're called eyeballs. Each of your eyes is about as big and almost as round as a normal sized gumball or a big marble, which is about an inch across. But your eyeballs aren't hard like gumballs, and they're actually really squishy, more like gummy bears. They are set into holes in your head called eye sockets, so they won't get dirty or poked. Your eyelids are little pieces of skin that comes down and cover your eyeballs. When you close your eyes or blink, even when you're not trying to, your eyes blink automatically every few seconds in order to keep your eyeballs moist. The long hairs on your eyelids are called, you got it, eyelashes. They help brush away dirt before it can get into your eyes. And your eyebrows, the hair just above your eyes, are important too. They help keep water and sweat from flowing down into your eyeballs. Tears are very important too. The very same tears that come out when you cry are important for protecting your eyes too. Tiny tear ducts or holes in the corners of your eyes release the tears, which keep your eyes moist and help wash your eyes when irritating objects like dirt or small bugs or something gets into your eye. Here is a diagram of your eye. And these are all the parts all the way around. All these body parts, eyelids right here, and tear ducts right here, right here in the corner, there's a little tear duct there, and an eye socket, that's where the eye is housed. Do their part to protect your eyes from getting hurt from the outside. But eyes need to be protected from the inside too. And luckily, eyes can protect themselves with the help of two inside parts of the eye. That's called the iris, or the part that's colored, and the pupil, or the part that looks dark and black. Look at your friend's eyes, or someone that's in the room. Look into their eyes. Do you see a little black dot in the middle? It looks like a dot, but it's actually a tiny covered hole. Yep, that's a hole in your eye, and it is called the pupil, and that is where the light comes into your eye. Look at your friend's eyes again. Which color do you see around the pupil? Is it 
kind of grayish, kind of bluish. How about this hazel color or this brown color? The colorful ring that goes around your eye or this colored part right down here is called the iris. Different people have different colored irises. The most common colors are brown and blue and green, but there are lots of different shades of those. And when I say shades, that means there's varied colors of the same color. Like we could have light brown or dark brown or light green or a yellow green or a blue green. There's lots of colors. The most common, like I said, were blue and brown and green. Now, as you look at this image, the iris controls how much light goes in and how much light stays out. So point to the pupil right here. This dark spot in both eyes, yep, that's the pupil. Remember, it's the hole in our eye that's covered. This is important because you can hurt your eyes if too much light comes in. When you turn down the lights in the room, your iris gets really, really small. But your pupil gets very big. That's because it's trying to let in as much light as it can. When you walk into a dark room, your eyes have to adjust so that you can see in the dark. Then when you walk out into the sunlight, your iris gets bigger, the colored part, because the pupil is shrinking down. It doesn't want to let too much light in so that your eyes will not become damaged. Whether, it's your, whether your irises are blue, brown, green, or whatever, their job is to help hold the pupil in and out. So it goes in and out. The iris closes or opens the pupil hole. Be glad that your eyes have all their amazing parts and know that they are always working hard to help you and help you see the world around you. Now it's time to turn and talk about comprehension. Let's see if we show what we know. What are some of the parts of the eye? And what can they do? You need to tell someone the parts of your eye, which are like the pupil, eyebrows, eyelids, eyelashes, tear ducts, the iris. Name those parts to someone. Now, which parts of your eyes come down over your eyes when you blink? You're right, the eyelids come down over there. Which parts of your eyes brush dirt away from your eyes? The eyelashes, yes. Which parts of your eyes keep sweat from running down into your eyes? Your eyebrows, that is correct. Which parts of your eyes make tears to help keep your eyeballs clean and moist? You're right, the little tear duct holes. Which inside part of your eye is small and is a covered black hole where the light comes in? If you said pupil, you were right. What do you call the colorful part of the eye? It's called the iris. Now, I want you to think about why do your pupils change size? If you said they get larger in a dark room to let more light in and smaller to keep light out so that your eyes are not harmed, you were correct. Let's do some word work. In our story, you heard the word protect. Can you say that word with me? Protect. Your eyes protect the rest of your body. Protect means to keep something safe from harm. When I'm walking my dog in my neighborhood, I protect my small dog from bigger dogs by moving to the other side of the street. Can you tell someone about a time when you protected someone or something or when someone protected you? Use the word protect and record your answer and post it to your seesaw. What's the word we've been talking about? Protect, that is correct. 
Let's do a little game. If something protects you, I want you to put your arms around yourself and say, that protects me. If it doesn't protect you, put your hands up and shake your hands hard and say, oh, that does not help keep me safe. That does not protect me. Here we go. The first sentence. The fence around your yard. The fence around your yard. Yes, hug yourself. That keeps me protected. And it also helps keep the animals in my yard. My seat belt in the car. Yes, give yourself a big hug. That protects us and keeps us from it safe in an accident. How about this one? Your pencil. That doesn't protect me. Shake your hands. Oh, no. Holding a grown-up's hand on a busy street. Hug yourself again. Yes, that can protect you because a grown-up can pull you back if you step out in the street when the car comes. How about your neighbor's cat? Shake your hands. That does not protect me. How about your bicycle helmet? Yes, give yourself a hug and that does keep us safe and protects us if we fall off of our bike. Today, you'll be working with the sense of sight drawing and you'll be asked to draw the parts in for your eye and we will send that home with you today. And some of you will be doing it in class. So that makes a great, great lesson today. And remember, always look before you leap. Remember our boy jumping across the rock? It also means you better think about things before you do them. So thanks for listening. <laughs>